Welcome to Chemistry with Caroline. In this video, we're going to take a look at constitutional isomers for molecules that contain double bonds. So we've got a molecular formula here, C5H10, um, that one of the ways you could fulfill this molecular formula is by drawing a molecule that had a double bond in it, or what we call an element of unsaturation. And so much like when you start out drawing a linear system, you're just going to draw the longest chain and then put the double bond in different spots. So let's do five carbons in a row here, and let's number these. So one, two, three, four, and five. So one thing we could do is we could put the double bond between carbon one and two, okay? Or we could draw the same system and we could put the carbon between two and three, okay? So I'm gonna number this, one, two, three, four, and five. Now again, careful of duplicates, this molecule is the same as the molecule below it, okay? If I flipped it to the left 180 degrees, it would be the same, okay? I have a double bond on a five carbon chain and it's between the second and third carbon, depending on which side I number from. So there are two unique constitutional isomers of a five-membered long chain with a double bond in it. So I could also draw a four carbon chain and I could add a substituent, a methyl group coming off of an interior carbon. And then I could look for the unique spots in which I could put a double bond. So this molecule is not symmetrical. The right hand side of the molecule is not identical to the left hand side. So I could start on the left hand side. I could put a double bond there, or I could use the same skeletal structure. I could put one in the middle. And because the two sides are unique, I could also put one on the right hand side and those are three unique constitutional isomers with the molecular formula C5H10. Now again being careful of duplicates I can't draw this one and call it a unique one because all that is is 180 degree rotation about that single bond which can freely rotate because it's a single bond. So these two molecules are the same. They are not unique constitutional isomers, but the same molecule. So we have one, two, three more constitutional isomers in addition to our original five carbon chains uh, for this molecular formula. Now you might think you could shorten even further, but you can't in this case, because if you do three, there's only one spot to put the substituents. This carbon in the middle is a quaternary carbon, and so it, you can't add a double bond. Uh, to any of these methyl groups coming off because you would exceed the octet rule. It already has four bonds, so you can't put a fifth one on. Um, and that means that you end up having four CH3 groups, which would end up being 12 hydrogens, which does not fit with our molecular formula, and there's no way for us to put a double bond in here. So you still have to be careful about making sure that you have a base structure that can accommodate a double bond or not. So this has been a look at how to systematically approach drawing constitutional isomers for molecules that have double bonds in them. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Thanks.